Hello everyone! I would like to share to you how I use this multi-network cable tester to test my cables for my ham radio hobby. This is a uh, network cable tester that I bought from a local DIY store a few years ago. I got this for less than 1,000 pesos or less than $20. The package uh, comes with uh, the main tester, uh, a, a remote uh, terminal, and a few uh, connection cables with an adapter. Let me put this aside. This tester, this is the main unit. This tester runs on a single 9 volt, uh, a single 9 volt battery. Yeah. This is also, actually this tester is uh, mainly used to test uh, network cables like uh, like these ones. Uh, uh, these are Cat5 uh, cables with uh, RJ45 on both ends. But I also use them to test uh, coaxial cables, which I'll show you in a while. So to test this type of, of cable, uh, you connect uh, each RJ45 ends on the port on on top of this uh, testers uh, tester like so there. okay there are two ways actually there are two ways to uh, use this tester it's either on auto or uh, automatic mode or on manual mode so in order to switch uh, auto and manual you just push this uh, button over here um, if you need to uh, if the connection that needs to be tested is on another location like say for example on another room of your home or on another floor of the building then you can use this uh, remote uh, terminal by doing so something like this there okay so the lights here there will be lights that will uh, uh, this this panel will uh, light up and these lights will indicate whether your connection is good whether it is shorted or there is a miswire uh, here. So um, let's go and uh, try and test this uh, cable. Okay, first thing I will uh, put this on manual and on. Okay, so you will see that there is a light on the, on number one. Okay, that means the connection there there is continuity between these two uh, uh, between these uh, two uh, terminals. Okay. So every time I want to move, then I just press the test button there. Two, three, four. Okay, so everything is aligned. So the wiring is okay, there is continuity there. If I want to test this on auto, I will press this one and it will scan uh, through. It will scan through the connections like so. Okay. So there you go. If I will need to connect this on another location like uh, and uh, use this uh, remote terminal, then I can do that also. And same thing, there you go. Put it on auto and uh, lights will each light up on the corresponding uh, numbers there. So that means this cable is good there okay so um let me put this aside let me show you how i test this with my coaxial cable okay like this one okay i i will not need this so this is my coaxial cable i just want to check if the connections are good if there is no uh, uh if there is continuity or there is a a short so what I will do first is I will connect these two connection cables here. And then I will use this type of adapter. This is called a BNC to SO239 uh, adapter and connect it here. There you go. So there you will have two SO239 uh, uh, connections already ready for your 
or rather for my um, coax connections. Okay, so there, the PL259 goes there, and another PL259 goes here. There you go. So, here's the thing. You will notice that unlike a uh, cut cable, wherein inside one, one cable there are plenty of small wires inside and you need to check one by one with the coaxial cable you only have two so when you test this you will not see any light on on uh, on the other numbers you will only see probably two and in this case you will only see number seven and number eight so to show you let me turn this on okay see so number one there is no connection that means it is open okay Two, three, four, five, six. There. So number seven, you have a, a connection between here and here, and number eight, you have a connection between here and here. If I put it on auto, okay, there you go. So it's just seven and eight. Uh, so that means my cable is good. What will happen if? Uh, let's try this. Okay. What will happen if? Let's say, for example, there is no connection. I will take this out, meaning to say it's open. There you go. So if the, the uh, connection is open, let's put it on manual. There, seven. There is no corresponding light below. And there, there is also no corresponding light below. So means to say there is a, if you see a cut, or, or an open within this uh, in within the cable then you will know that there is no uh, continuity there is a cut so there is an open circuit inside there and you will this is what you will see okay, let's say I have a connection in the middle and I don't have a <laughs> will this work oh there you go so there is a, uh, a continuity on the center conductor and there is uh, an open but if I close this there you go then you have a connection okay what will happen uh, if I will say uh, put a short or if your cable is shorted what will you see okay so if ever uh, your cable is shorted this is what you will see Let's see, there is a short, oops, sorry, on your cable. Shorted cable, there you go. Shorted cable, okay. There, okay. So you will see both lights light up, meaning there is a short on your cable. If I take this out, there. If I do this, meaning your cable is shorted and you have a bad cable and you have to check it or you cannot use it huh? check it repair it okay so there you go that is how i use <laughs> this uh, handy um, uh, uh, multi uh, network cable tester for my uh, uh, ham radio hobby there <laughs> So, there you go. So, if you're, say, you're out on field day and you do not have a uh, multi-tester to use to check your coax, but so happen that you have this uh, tester in your kit box, then this might save the day. So, there you go. Thank you very much. This is DU7JY saying 73 and stay safe, everyone. Enjoy ham radio.